Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Thank God for blessing me to be alive, still kicking. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And the word of God. I ain't kicking it. I'm walking. Walking with God. Amen. But it is good to be alive. Thank God for blessing us all to see this day, a portion of it. Amen. Uh, well, I got I got that wrong, and well, this day really gone from sunset to sunset, ain't it? How it go? Sunset to sunset? Yeah, one day. All right. So this day really started when the sun went down previously, before it came about. So, really, actually, it's uh, that would make this day what? Moon day? <laughs> uh, amen. But anyway, you know, we done got everything off of kill because of our earthly wisdom wisdom and uh, learning and teaching, you know. I guess that's all right, isn't it? But anyway, I'm going to go right into it. A lot of things been going on across the world. Across the world. I mean, it does not exclude this country here. Where you stay, where I stay, no. Everything affects everyone. You know what I mean? See? Everyone. Everybody is affected about, is, is affected by what's going on across the board. You know what I mean? In other words, across what? Across this world spectrum. Spectrum. Spect spectrum. Okay? Everybody is being affected. And if you think you're not being affected, you're a fool, I guess. Something wrong. No, I ain't gonna call you a fool, but I'm just saying something wrong. You you are affected. You just ain't seen it yet. You ain't seen it yet, but hey, you are affected. Amen? Amen? So, this why we come and read the Word of God, even though we might be affected, it will be of a lesser degree having a knowledge of God. Because we know it's, it's reality. It's going to happen. It's reality. You see what I'm saying? But if you got the word of God in your spirit, you have learned something about God and continue to learn and walk with God. Let me obey his word. You see what I'm saying? Let his word complete the whole cycle, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You can't have one without the other. It just won't do. Everybody say that. It just won't do. You have to have what? All three. Wisdom. Having the what? The ability to make the right decision. Knowledge. What is knowledge? Information. Amen? In order to make the right decision, you got to have what? Information. When you put those two together, See, you got to have what? Understanding. Understanding is what? Action. See, by putting those two together, you ought to what? Have the actions to get up now to do what? what? It says do. Now what? You got to understand it. See, but you can't get anything completed, anything done without what? Having what? All three. That's the same thing with what? Faith. And your hope, your hope is right there. Oh, I got great hope, good hope. That hope ain't gonna do anything unless you what? Have faith and put that faith with it. See? See? And the same thing with the gospel of Jesus Christ, the word of God. Well, it ain't gonna do anything. I mean, that, that hope ain't gonna do anything unless you what? Active, put the word of God with it. And how do you put the word of God with it? Huh? See? When it's what? It's declared. When this word is declared, then come in what? Faith. You see what I'm saying? See? That's why I say faith comes about what? Hearing. When the word is declared, when the word is spoke on, when the word is told and taught the way God intended to be, See, when that word done, then what? Come what? 
cometh what? Faith. And you put what? Infinitum with it. That means what? It keep coming. It keep coming. As often as you what? Study the word of God. Of faith coming by hearing and hearing by what? The word of God. One without the other just won't do. See? So you may have all the hope you want. It look pretty, it look good, but it ain't going to do anything to you what? You put faith with it. And faith got to come. And it comes by what? Declaring the word of God. That's why I say faith coming by the word. Amen? It ain't going to come if the word what? Is not what? Declared. Or preached. All right? So just a little tidbit. tidbit. So don't, 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 don't get in, 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 in that mode there. Well, I believe God. I believe God. There ain't nothing getting done in your life that God asks that God command you to do what? In the word. Nothing. You just like Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give My name is Jimmy. That's all y'all want. Some from God never want to what? Hey, what can I do for you, God? Really, actually, you're doing it for yourself. But God don't need none of us. Jesus said what? If you don't preach, you don't stand up, you don't proclaim, or proclaim the, the word of God. He said it rocks to do it. Huh? And the first thing y'all, I don't want no rocks crying out for me. It better, it, 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 some, someone have to do it. Some, some, someone have to do it. But you ain't doing it. I ain't doing it in some degree. After seeing and hearing and, and the power of God and everything, I had to get up. I got to do something now. Because what? Faith is coming. Faith is coming. Faith is coming. See what I'm saying? See? Infinitum. Continue to learn what's going on. What's going on in this world around here. Everything God has spoken about is happening now. What? In this time in which we live. And it comes from what? The word of God. It's there. Today. And that's why we're going with our first uh, uh, session here tonight. Amen. And I'm going to take it from Matthew 2437. And these are from our master, our master lips, Jesus the Christ, before he went back to his kingdom. Matthew 24. Because, see, I've been telling everybody. I've been telling y'all, y'all been laughing. What the, what did that crazy, what did that crazy man gotta say? Huh? What did that ex-convict gotta say? What, what he know? Oh, y'all been laughing, but that's all right. You know? Mm -hmm. Y'all been laughing at, 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 at old little, cra little, little brother Matt. Huh? All right, I want y'all keep on laughing. I'm gonna turn that lamb to turn that lamb to a serious look. Get you to think. Alright. Matthew 24, chapter 37, verse. This is what our master said. 37 verse. Where you at? Alright. Okay, let's go up here a little fat, a little further. All right, let's let's do this right here. Let's go to uh, like I said. Let's go to I want to go to thirty seven, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up on it. I'm gonna pick up on it at thirty four. Thirty four. Matthew twenty four. Thirty four. Verily, this is old English. Verily. That means truly. This is a truth here. You can depend on what Jesus is beginning to uh, tell us. Verily I say unto you, this generation, what generation? The generation we've been living. This one right here. You know what I mean? See? There were prophecies. There were everything were given 
in the dispensation of time, before whom? Before God's people are those that came to what? The realization that God is who he said he is and had a desire, had a desire to obey God, use a free will to obey God. So in every generation, there's going to be a set of things going on for each generation. They can either escape from the evil and wickedness by latching on to God, or they can st stay right where they are. See, but you can, you have to make that the choice, that choice, that decision. See, and whichever decision you make, it depends on what, where you're going to spend all eternity. Remember that. But here in Jesus' time, here in the flesh, when he walked through the desolate street of Palestine, Jerusalem, in the northern area right there, he was telling people here, he said, Friend, I say unto you, this generation, his generation, and he, he, he also told about my generation, haven't even came yet, but now my generation here. So this will apply to me in 2023, this generation. So that's why I say what? This generation. Such a time in which we live in right now. Listen. Shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. What are you talking about fulfilled? He's talking about the word of God. All these things be what? Fulfilled. See? When Jesus came to John the Baptist, over there in Jordan, when he was when, when John was baptizing, the people water baptism of repentance. But John said, what? With that one coming after me, he's going to baptize you with the fire and the power of all men of God, the Holy Ghost. And, G and, and John saw Jesus coming. See? And he, he, he knew that, that, that God had revealed to him who he were before he even got to John. John saw him coming. And Jesus came to John and said, baptize me. He came for to get baptized. John said, I have need of you to baptize me. Not me baptize you. But Jesus said what? He said, let the scripture be what? Fulfilled. It will fulfill, fulfill in, the, in the scripture that John was what? Was baptized in water baptism. Symbolized, symbolized what? Being baptized by the word of God. Unto what? Obedience to the commandments of God. In other words, no more, no more the old man, no more the old woman. When you go down, being dead, cover up with dirt or water, and then you get back up what, in the newness of your mindset. And your mindset is to be like what? Christ's mind. His mind. See? See? Christ's mindset. See? So Jesus said, let the scripture be fulfilled. He said, don't do me no favor, and don't do me no special favor now. I came out here to live in the flesh. I came out here to do what I have to do because I got to do everything here in the flesh, amen, to set y'all free. And that's what he did without sin. Symbolizing, he said, let it be. And it said that John, what, baptized what? Jesus in what? The Jordan River. So that's why Jesus was able to say what he said back here. He said, shall not pass till these things, what? Be fulfilled. Everything in the scripture, be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels, in heaven, but my Father only. And, and the reason why uh, Jesus is saying this is because his disciples pulled him to the side because Jesus had peeped, and they had, Jesus had, uh, uh, Jesus had, had uh, piqued their curiosity. They were, curi they, were, they were curious about when Jesus said, well, uh, 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 he, he, they were curious about when Jesus was going to come, you know, when God was going to come put out everything. You know what I mean? And Jesus began to tell him that all these pretty churches and Ephesus and facilities and everything that around here that claiming to be about the church of God and all that right there, he said, you ain't going to see them no more. They're going to be cast down, you know, 
They were stoned, cast out. And so they pulled Jesus to the side, previously, or uh, uh, secret there. They asked Jesus, uh, when shall these signs be? When, when, when shall we know? And this is what Jesus was saying here in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, 24. And I started the 34th verse. So I want you to take the time to start at 24, the first verse, and read it all the way down, because I ain't got time to do all that right now, because I'm trying to get to this right here. All right? All right. And so I'm still in the third to say, four. he said, when are these things going to be? And Jesus said, nobody knows but my Father in heaven. Not Father out on earth. Father what? In heaven. Not even what? Not even the angels know. But Jesus gave him a clue. Gave him a clue. And I'm trying to get him a clue here. A clue here that Jesus gave him. This is what Jesus said. You do believe Jesus, don't you? I mean, I just want to make sure you and I are on the same page. You do, you, you do believe Jesus, and, and, and you do believe when Jesus said, I be the word. And you do believe that when Jesus said, hey, I be the word, no man coming to the Father but what? By me, through me, by me, understanding me, me being what? The word. But you, but you still do believe in Jesus, right? When you go to John 1, 1 and say, in the beginning was the word, and the word was what? With God. Huh? And the word was what? Was God? You, you still believe that, don't you? Because I, I, I didn't write any, any of this. But you say you believe Jesus. So if you believe Jesus, you must believe everything that Jesus was, says, stand for, and have done, continue to do. Huh? I, I'm going to write about that. Okay, we're on the same page there. Now, here it is. Let me go on here to 37. But as in the day of Noah, you remember Noah? You know, the one that, uh, when he entered the, the ark and God closed the door or closed that door on and the flood came and it said that Noah judged the earth just by him what? Going to the ark, God closed the door. No, what, 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 no, no, what? Judge the earth. Why? Because he had preached for over a hundred some years, said, look, come on into the ark. God is going to send a flood. Come on to the ark. God is going to send a flood. See what I'm saying? As long as he would been in the ark and hadn't gone into the ark, even at the time when it was finished, they had, what, time, what, to still come. They didn't help with the flood of the ark or nothing. They could still come. As long as the ark was open, the promise of God was still there. But when then, once the ark took whoever went in there and shut that door, everything else on the outside was being judged. How was they being judged? Because they didn't believe. And out of disbelief, out of, out of unbelief, what happened? They lost their opportunity to have what? Life. Even in that area right there, at that such a time as that. Life. All on what? Were drowned. Everything that had a breath of life, what? Drowned. All right? I just want to know we're on the same page, huh? But I, I, I didn't write any of this. For as in the days, it said days, D-A-Y-S. That means, that means there had to have been a certain amount of getting up, going to sleep, getting up, going to sleep, seeing the sun, going to sleep. You know, there had to have been a certain amount of time, a time frame, a certain amount of time within that time frame See, uh, uh, and not going into the ark, not believing in what Noah would, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Noah would preach it. See, and it happened one day, one day after the one day, after the next, after the next. Nobody saw anything in a hundred some years that Noah preached. But that didn't mean what? That Noah was lying or it wasn't going to come to pass. But it came in the past. It came to pass when? When they all thought. That what? That it was untrue. They had forgotten all about it. But look what happened. It said here in the day that were before the flood, they were eating. See, for in the day, in those days there, not just one day. No, I didn't just come and say, God on flood, come to be a Bam, bam, bam. Come on in. 
Because God going to wipe away? No, 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 no. God gave some time. Hundred some days that we know of. And it says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were what? Eating and drinking and marrying and going and giving into marriage until the day, D-A-Y, that day, that specific day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So, sh so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, that's where I want to stop right there. In 2023, God been showing us things, telling us things. I'm talking to believers. You know what I mean? The, the, the call that one, even on the job training, he been showing them, telling them, working with them. Huh? Huh? They've been studying his word. They got faith in his word. They believe God, regardless, regardless of what they see. They believe God's word, what God said, rather than what they see with their own, what? Finite understanding, looking through, what? The carnal, the carnal eyes. And here, they've been preaching, they've been proclaiming the word of God so faith can come. To whom? To the unbeliever. The same ones here that didn't believe Noah, and when the door was shut, then what happened? They didn't realize what, until the flood came, bam, and watched them what? All the way. Same thing going on here in 2003, all over the face of the world, all over, all over, in your house. In your home, wherever you, it's happening right here. And guess what? And that day, when that day D A Y come with nothing without air, when that day come, huh? And the people and the believers of God, Jesus come back and get them. It's just not gonna be a flood. What? You you just not gonna exist. You not just you just not gonna exist. The one that uh that are what that are uh, rebellious, evil, wicked. Don't want to know nothing about God. Don't want to hear anything about God. Don't want to know nothing about church. No, I ain't going to church. I don't want to go to church. Huh? Don't want to do good. If God seeing him become so thick, you know what I mean? Y'all know, y'all know that word of thick, don't you? Huh? And I know your brothers know, so man, she thick. <laughs> huh? Girl, she, girl, he's, uh. Y'all know how to put the word where you want to work to understand what you, so who needs, sin is going to be so thick, so attractive. Even the Bible say what? He said what? The temptation that is going to come upon whom? Upon all of those that do not believe. Upon the what? The whole earth. Everything will look good to them. See? 